Suck none, guys. How is y'all doing? Six of cups. There's some kind of... Ooh, the, the, the high priestess. There's some kind of... Okay, first of all... I feel like there's there's some kind of past admiration. There might be I don't I don't want to speak about people from the past. I feel like you're experiencing some kind of past self really admiring you, okay, collector. I feel like especially because it's the solar eclipse now today like it's a timeless reading blah 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 but like we're we're working with the energy, right? I feel like instead of you going through harshities, harshnesses, you have become maybe so strong that I feel like you're about to have some kind of amazing heart-centered breakthrough into finally feeling like, wow, like, like, like I really had myself, like I've had myself all along, like I'm, I was the one I've been waiting for and you're going to feel light and healed and like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, and you're going to have so much, like, love and respect and admiration for yourself for coming where you've come to. Like, in regards to yourself, in regards to the way you experience divinity slash self specifically, okay? In regards to your darkness and your wounds. Like, this feels so transformative and so humongous because i don't know it's like opening up that last layer of the world to you or something like that and temperance reverse it's kind of like because the inner child energy is so prevalent with that six of cups it's so like Seeing and being in wonder, not of life, but of self, okay? Yeah, again, the Six of Cups. You're about to be in wonder of yourself, okay? And this is not an egoic thing. This is such a beautiful, self-cheerleading, self-best friend kind of like... Understanding, I don't know, like... <laughs> Wow. Just like recognizing that like, like truly, truly, you are always the one that like you were w waiting for and searching for. And like, it's be I'm seeing somebody be that weird child that like always plays alone, but you're like so like cool with it, you know, because you're like playing literally with angels and fairies. You don't want to play. Mr. CEO, you know, you want to literally play with the fucking fairies and shit, bro, you know, like, that's what I'm getting here, and that's what you're, like, experiencing, okay? So the Two of Swords, I feel like, you know what I'm getting? I feel like not only because of this wonderment that you're living in, not only are you seeing the blindfold is being removed every day more and more not only are you seeing the wonderfulness of yourself every day more and more but i feel like that is starting to happen with everything and everyone around you as well okay i don't want to focus on that energy though right I feel like the blindfold, your blindfold is being removed in regards to your actual, not just divinity, but like, 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 like you're experiencing your own darkness and you're experiencing the darkness of the world in such a way that it's almost like it doesn't exist to you. It's not that you're looking away from it, but it doesn't exist to you. It's almost like you're, you're this, you're this, this, this eternal child love energy that can't like cease to exist like you can't cease to see the wonderment even if your eyes are closed or some shit like that okay and i feel like the sun reverse and i feel like that's what this um solar eclipse is bringing you we know that the towers aren't bad right we know towers bring the things they bring down the instabilities for us to grow again 
we know the solar eclipse isn't a cursed time. It's for us to really see um, the things that we didn't want to look at, perhaps, or the things that we never wanted to heal, that we didn't want in the light, you know? Because the moon is literally the, the, the sun of the darkness, the sun of the darkness, you get what I'm saying? So you are like, 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 I'm hearing again, like Damien, like the Antichrist energy, but like, it's not that, you get what I'm saying? It's actually more a sense of wonderment that you're walking into and everything else seemingly evil, seemingly maybe Antichrist-like is being exposed and died, like not killed or like, but like killed, you get what I'm saying? It's like very dense energy. But because of your childlike wonderment, even in the underworld, it's not affecting you. It's almost like maybe not your childlike wonderment, wonder, wonderment but like your innocence, the innocence of your soul, the, the purity of your actual inner dynamic. Like this energy feels so fucking profound to me because it's so fucking beautiful. But it's almost like it can't be seen because it is so fucking pure, you know? But now it's gonna be seen. <coughs> the devil reverse. This is crazy energy. What the fuck? <laughs> I love it though. I'm here for it, right? And the seven of wands reverse. The three of cups reverse, two of pentacles, two of wands, princess of cups reverse, the death reverse, three of swords reverse, the hierophant reverse. I'm telling you, there was nothing or nobody or whatever holy enough to, to recognize this innocence, right? And I mean, don't we all carry that innocence of creator ultimately? I feel like maybe that's what this, like, this, this very dark energy is bringing. And maybe that's what you're bringing back into this consciousness, okay? It's like your innocence surviving the underworld. Your innocence survived the underworld. Your innocence survived maybe uh, the rejections from everybody, the, the, from self. Because it's all your own rejection, right? Ace of Cups. <laughs> I don't know, like, you are about to be, like, in... Everything is upside down except for the Two of Swords, you know? Choice. What do you see? It's your choice, right? And I speak about this all the time, our perspective. But you are about to be fucking bewildered by yourself. Okay, by your innocence, by <clears throat> your, your, your innocence's ability to, to, to ultimately transcend this underworld energy, okay? And this is also reminding me, again, the Ace of Cups, this is also reminding me of yesterday's um, reading where I said something in regards to, it's, it's reminding me of like, you're playing the game now and with this innocence, it's like, well, yes, I'm in the underworld, but I'm, so I'm playing with the rules of the underworld and I feel like you're doing it in a very, very, like, strangely, maybe amusing, but, like, strangely liberating way. Like, you might think the Two of Swords is a shitty thing, but the Two of Swords give you, gives you choice, which is the ultimate thing, right? Choosing anything despite everything, right? And so I feel like you're choosing to be bewildered by this innocence that you are, or by this, like specialness that you are, the special innocence that you are, and by choosing that, you're being that in the underworld, you're being that in the densities, you're being that through the densities, through the devil, despite the underworld, despite the devil, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yes. Thank you so much, Akalanchen, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed this rain with me as I am washing us, cleansing us, filling our sacral chakras, Cleansing our, um, just everything. I love it so much. Drink. Anyway, thanks guys. Bye. <laughs>